Merry Christmas, everybody. 2015. This is Brenda Bradshaw. You know, um, I did a show Christmas Eve. I'm doing one tonight, Christmas night. I'm so used to working at Christmas because that is really the time of the year when people need somebody to uplift them and empower them. I love that word, empowerment. You know, last night I played a lesson on depression. And in that lesson, there's a very interesting little piece of nugget of gold. It was about, basically, our thoughts. We have thoughts, and these thoughts are constantly running through our mind. And to stop thought is an impossibility. But, but I want to say this one thing, that the more thoughts you put in there by your activities, when you are watching a lot of television or listen to a lot of music, it's called input into your thoughts. Now, let's look at this very logically. If you would observe the thoughts that you're putting in to your mind, just for a moment, you have free will to choose all the information that goes into your mind. If you were to cut television off, not let it run in the background, not observe it, that's a flow of thoughts. It's called media. And what happens to many people is they receive a lot of subliminal messages going into your thoughts. You may not even be aware of the messages that uh, you're picking up. Now, you can control that by cutting your television set off and making good choices. I'm not saying stop your information from media, but now you can make choices on what kind of media you listen to how much media you listen to and not let it run in the background while you're sleeping, eating, or doing another activity and the television is on and that stream of subconscious thoughts is going into your mind. Let's just think about that for a minute. We don't always become aware of the thoughts that we're picking up from the outside. We don't always become aware of them while they're happening. But when we go to sleep at night, those thoughts come through in our dream images. Now here's another thing. You say you can't control your thoughts when you're meditating? Of course not. Because you have streamed in thoughts that you didn't you weren't aware of. They may have been subliminal thoughts. So you really can't stop thought. But you can choose. Here comes the free will. You can choose what thoughts you want to be running in your background and in your mind. That's your free will. Because you can't stop thought. So let's choose the type of thought that we want to run in our subconscious mind and this will bring an awareness and a shift in consciousness that you, you know, I want to do it, you keep saying I want to do it I want to shift in my consciousness but these programs and these thoughts keep bothering me and every time they come up, I have to, you know, I have to go into some kind of resistance. I tell people, have some forgiveness because, you know, you accepted them. But it has got to be another way. Let's go in the back door. Let's choose the thoughts. You can do this for a period of time. And, and, and just see what I'm talking about. 
The thoughts that will come to you will be thoughts that you have chosen, that you're aware of, you're not going to be in resistance. All these other thoughts are subliminal thoughts. And sometimes you don't know where they came from, and then you don't believe in these thoughts, and then you have a truth, and then you have a good and bad thing going on in your consciousness. And then you don't know why you feel the way you feel, because thoughts create emotions. Why am I feeling this way? Why do I feel hurt? Why do I feel like I should judge myself? Where did that thought come from? Maybe it came from a television program. Maybe it came from your sympathy towards all the murder and terror in the media. And then all of a sudden you get emotional because of a thought that was planted in your brain. Are we talking brainwash here? Oh yeah. Subliminal and out and out terror. So, let's choose our thoughts. Let's be aware of things running in the background. Cut them off. Let's be aware of what we watch and how long and how much of what we watch. Because these thoughts are creating emotions and fear in your conscious mind. That's what thoughts do. They create emotions. Merry Christmas. Now that brought a thought. Maybe of your past. Oh, don't say Merry Christmas to me. I've never had a Merry Christmas. And then you have an emotion attached to that thought, even hating the words Merry Christmas. Remember now, we are thinking machines. We have a consciousness. We have a subconscious. We are connected to the super collective consciousness. And it is our free will to choose that will save you from going into emotional fear. Accept it. Merry Christmas. Thank you. This is Brenda Bradshaw. I'll be on tonight, 7 to 9, doing love card readings and talking more about the thoughts and awareness of the consciousness. Thank you again for watching. And be with your family. It may be your birth family. It may be your spiritual family. But it's still family. Enjoy the opportunity of being with your family. Just being. That's all you need to be. A being. Having a spiritual experience. Right now. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you on the radio.